Welcome back to another video, guys. In this one, we're gonna be talking about transformers, the boring kind we learn about in this course, not Optimus Prime and Megatron. So transformers pretty much capitalize on this idea of electromagnetic induction, which is if you have a conductor in a changing magnetic field, there's gonna be a voltage and usually therefore a current induced in that conductor, right? We call this induction, and it's the fundamental principle on which transformers operate. Now, what a transformer consists of is it consists of two coils of wire wrapped around two sides of a ferromagnetic core, which is usually made of iron or something similar to that. And the way it works is pretty simple. You have a changing magnetic flux generated by the primary coil, right? Because you pass it an AC current. The changing current generates a changing magnetic flux. This is passed around through the core. The core sort of acts like a conductor, but for magnetic field. And that ends up in the secondary coil. And the changing field, or the changing flux, then induces a current in that coil. What a transformer does is that you change the number of turns in the primary versus the secondary coil, and the voltage in primary versus secondary will change, and therefore so will the current. Now, again, similar to motors like I talked about in the last video, ideally you want the same amount of energy going in versus going out, but that's never the case. You always have losses. And in transformers, that can come from things like eddy currents, which are where you have induced current, not just in the secondary coil, but also in the core of the transformer itself. You can reduce them by using insulative laminations and other techniques to sort of reduce the amount of conductive space for those eddy currents to flow. You also have things like flux leakage and heating and other sorts of things, and they will subtract from the output energy that the transformer can provide. Overall though, transformers are a really, really useful thing. Primarily, they're useful because we can use them to distribute electrical energy more efficiently. You might know that electrical energy is distributed at very high voltages. And this is because when you transmit at high voltage, you're minimizing your current, and that's what minimizes your power loss. Power loss is effectively proportional to the amount of current that you have passing through. Minimize current, and you'll minimize power loss. So transformers are used to increase our voltage, decrease our current, to maximize our efficiency in distribution. Now, there's all sorts of other stuff we use them for. Think about transformers in all the appliances in our houses, right? Clearly, the laptop webcam operates on a different voltage than our fridges and our washers. But at its core, transformers are like one of the most useful pieces of technology today. So, Often they'll question why we use them in HSC physics exams. It's important to understand that aspect of it just as much as you understand the operation of the transformer itself. Thanks for watching guys, catch you in the next video.